Hey guys, it's me, Leo Currently. Okay, this is the second video for today. This was from last night's highlights because, of course, it's the mo morning after Nancy's addiction. Angie literally thinks is thinking about leaving the house at this point because she couldn't sleep. Stephanie wants, to, wants Angie to talk about it, but Angie is over it at this point right now. She really had no sleep the previous night, and Angie repacks her shit, and then she goes and, and then... And then while Angie goes into the diary room, Stephanie and Stephanie talks to Chris about her nomination of Daniela. We already know the reason why Stephanie really nominated Daniela. David has to go back to the spare bedroom and he's resting there because he's still sick. And I swear that bedroom that they're putting David in, that's where they're going to do the bed set this series. I swear. It's not going to be, like, the big, glamorous thing. They're just going to put one person in a small-ass room. Stephanie still wants to talk to Daniela about the nominations. Tiffany and Jeremy get to talk. But I think Tiffany saw the bullshit. Sees through the bullshit of Jeremy. Angie goes into the diary room. She demands her passport, her phone, and a car to get back to London. And to open the diary room door because she feels claustrophobic. Big Brother wants to know why Angie doesn't want to talk to Big Brother. And then it hits the commercial. After the commercial, Angie is still silent in the diary room. Well, Angie's still in the diary room. Christina and John talk about Angie. John doesn't think Angie won't leave. Doesn't think Angie will leave. Big Brother suggests for Angie to rest. She is staying in the house for now. Angie's going to be sleeping during the day. It, Big Brother lets Angie sleep for the day because Angie seriously didn't even get to sleep the whole day, the whole damn night. So, of course. Task for the day. Housemates are to put into two deems to bands a pair of skills with a colorful, liquidy gack. Each team has a secret saboteur who will ensure that to make the skills unbalanced. But the thing is, all the housemates were told that they were saboteurs. Once once the scales were already unbalanced, then the housemates started throwing, each team started throwing, like, their liquid gack at the other team. Scales were sabotaged. Housemates have to decide in each team who was the saboteur. Green team chose Chris, and the pink team chose Gemma. Big Brother then uh, tells them that they were all sabot that they were all told to be saboteurs. And housemates win a party for the night, but since Chris and Gemma were identified as the saboteurs, they won't be able to attend the party, and they have to spend the time of the party in the jail. I love that they put Chris and Gemma in the same jail that they put Nancy in. Stephanie and Tiffany aren't wearing any panties at this party. Gemma and Christopher get to leave the jail after the party ended, which was after, like, about an hour and 25 minutes. Megan asked IT about his relationship status. Then they did a party game where... And all these party games that Big Brother does is just, like, trying to stir up drama and shit. Housemates read a statement and then decide who fits the statement. Angie thinks that Tiffany would be good in bed. Megan doesn't want to be locked up with John. Gemma would like to evict Christina because she's pregger. Darren thinks that Tiffany was the least famous because she was American. And Tiffany didn't even know who Darren was. And then Tiffany was like, I will have four successful shows coming out in the U.S., U.K. that I've been on. And I'm also executive producing a shitload of TV shows, too. That's what Tiffany says. I, I swear, Tiffany will get a spinoff show. Gemma told Tiffany that John and Christina are the most boring people at the party. And then Tiffany tells Gemma, well, he took Christina as her pet. Kind of shit. Jeremy did tell, does tell Scotty T and Chris that 
in the smoking area that he and Stephanie have kissed. Gemma and Tiffany continue on about John and Christina. Gemma views Tiffany as an equal, whereas John views himself more as, like, above Christina. Christina looks miserable with John, according to Gemma. Jeremy decides to go to bed early, and then Stephanie felt slagged off. Daniela first thought of Tiffany was that she does, like, like, Daniela thought, this woman does not know her place in this world, does she? That, in the world, not, like, in the celebrity world. And then now, and then now, Daniela's current thought of, Dan of Tiffany is, oh, she knows where she belongs in the world. Jeremy just wanted to be separated from Stephanie in the house and wants to look after for him after himself for now. That's why uh, he kind of slagged off Stephanie for a minute there. Gem Gemma and Daniela discuss about Stephanie crying at Jeremy. I want to know if Sam Reese actually broke up with Stephanie. I really don't know. I really don't care. Stephanie and Jeremy discuss how their friendship can move forward. The rest of the house has decided not to step in with Stephanie until Gemma steps in. Stepped in a couple of hours later. Stephanie and Jeremy are doing a Nikki and Har Nick and Harry uh, relationship thing where they're like dating each other inside the house, but outside the house they have to get to know each other better kind of shit. Nick and Harry from uh, last summer's Big Brother UK. But the only difference between the Nick and Harry situation and the Stephanie and Jeremy situation is that, besides the fact that it's the celebrity Big Brother house, is that Stephanie has a boyfriend outside the house. By 1 a... No, I mean, like, the bed location where where Harry and Nick kept making out and shit is in the same bed location that Stephanie and Jeremy were laying down in last night's highlights. By 1 a.m., Stephanie and Jeremy get to bed together, and Gemma is disgusted. And Gemma told Tiffany that... J oh. Sorry. <laughs> I found that trick there. Gemma then thinks about... Thinks what Stephanie is doing is very wrong. She says it. Stephanie is denying that he she kissed Jeremy. And, Ste and Gemma's like, You have a boyfriend outside this house. And then Gemma... Then Stephanie says to Gemma, You're off Towie. What's your talent? And then I want to list Gemma's talents. Okay, Gemma's talents include reality trash. I know. Business owner, I think. Plus size model, I think. Shit stirrer, yeah, that's a really good talent in that house. I love shit stirring. <laughs> I know. And then is Essex party girl considered a talent? I think that's considered more of a hobby. Okay, this, I didn't, I was, I wanted more scouts to come out of Stephanie it wasn't at 100%. It was probably at, like, I don't know, like, 10% scouse. But I wanted her to go full scouse and shit. By 1.15 a.m., Big Brother has Stephanie to go to the diary room. Stephanie then was crying, saying that she wouldn't, won't be able to forgive herself on how far she took it with Jeremy. She says she wants to leave the house. And she said the best shit ever. This is how you try to get yourself kicked out and shit. She's like, well, I want to punch Gemma in the face and Gemma deserves to be punched in the face. Gemma's a slap, you know. She was insulting Gemma and stuff like that. Megan feels she's in an awkward position as Stephanie's friend and stuff like that. But really, everything with Stephanie so far in this house has now become hashtag ox. Stephanie doesn't want to do anything with Gemma. Gemma is put into the large task room for the night. And Stephanie still, still screams that she wants to leave. She wants to be out of that room. and Stuff like that. Gemma. And then while Stephanie was screaming and shit, the rest of the house was asleep. Gemma thought she saw a ghost in the bedroom. Seriously, it's more like going to be a producer that walks around the camera runs to replace camera batteries and camera film and shit like that. But it's kind of fucking hilarious that some of the house housemates think that the house is haunted. Okay, that is it for now. Um, 
I might talk about David Guest's exit either tomorrow or later on today. I have to read the full story, and it's going to be in the highlights for sure. So I'll see ya.